and it's actually going to be very easy we're just going to save for now this main css we're going to go back to index html all the way over here in the bottom and then we're going to go to good old friend google and we're going to say jquery over here and we're not going to say slide toggle yet we're going to say jquery google and over here once the screen gets actually bigger you can see that have a google developers right so we go over here to this link and we find over here that this is the way how we can add actually jquery to our project so what i'm going to do over here i'm just going to copy this script and we need to place it all the way in the bottom of our body right so i'm just going to say copy over here like this and we're going to go and we'll go back over here we're going to paste it and now we have this script unfortunately nothing has changed yet right it's still not working as a button because we haven't actually added uh, some jquery that we wanted so over here i'm just going to create a script over here new script tags and right now i'm going to go back and i'm going to say that i would want a jquery slide toggle right so i'm going to do over here i'm going to say slide toggle slide toggle over here not slide toggle fix i want a slide toggle and we go to slide toggle over here like this and then we find it where it is and i think it was somewhere over here so now i can see this is our function that we want to use for slide toggle so we're just going to copy this over here and what we're going to do is we're obviously just going to do it very easy way we're just going to copy and paste it but before we add our actually this uh, slide toggle over here to our script what I want to do is actually create a jQuery function that will actually make sure that all our code is running only when the page is loaded. So I'm going to say document and I'm going to say ready. And then I'm going to say that this is going to be a function. And this is going to be open parentheses. And over here, I'm just going to create a curly brackets. This is going to be our function. And now I can just go ahead. Again, I'm just going to make sure that I actually copy this. And I'm going to paste it over here. Now you can see that I have preset this click me right id so i would need to over change over here to button over here to this button and over here we're going to change it to uh an word list list items right now let's check it out why we're doing that we can just delete this right this was our comment so i'm just going to save this and we can obviously close this one over here and if we refresh you can see what's happening right you can see that right now it's working and the reason why it's working, you can see over here that this is the button, right? So this is going to be the that is going to be doing the to toggling when we click it. Then the function starts running. And what is the function affecting? It's actually affecting over here this on our list list items, right? So that's for you. That's why we're actually we're able to do that. So even if we go, let's say, to the bigger screen, it still works the same way. And this is how we can actually add jQuery to our web page. So this is going to be it for this video, guys. Thank you very guys for watching. And what I'm going to do over here, I'm just going to make this screen bigger so we can see our whole website, right? See how it looks when it's full view. Now when we have it actually on a bigger screen, you can see how it is actually working, how it is responsive as we're actually going around with our values, right? Over here, you can see as I'm making it smaller, you can see how they're floating left and right. And you can see how actually it is so easy to make a responsive website.